Oh, hello. Um, today we're going to discuss how do we know the end behavior of a polynomial from its equation. Well, if we just consider a few sketches of these graphs, uh, we, can, we can notice a few things that will apply in a moment. If we look at y equals x squared minus 2, the sketch of this graph looks something like this, with the arrows both going up. Uh, negative x squared plus 2. Well, this, this sketch looks something like this, but a little bit better. I'm not as good as a calculator. <laughs> x cubed plus 1 will look like this. And negative x cubed plus 1 goes like this. So today we're talking about end behavior. End behavior is how the graph ends. Those are these arrows. So if we look x squared minus 2, these arrows both end going in an upward direction. Negative x squared plus 2, they both end going down. x cubed, we have one going down and one going up. So from left to right, I would say it's going down then up. And then negative x cubed, it starts on the left going up and ends going down. All right, so end behavior of polynomials completely depends on the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial. So the leading coefficient is attached to whatever variable gave us the degree of the polynomial, right? And the degree is just the highest exponent. So if the degree of the polynomial is even, so like in our examples from before, the x squareds, so x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, any of those, we have two options. They're either both going to end going up or they'll both end going down. Okay, so the tails of your graph will either both end going up or both end going down. If the degree of the polynomial is odd, then they'll end in different directions. Either it'll start by going down and end going up, or it'll start up and end in a down direction. So now we've limited it to these four choices, two for each, like even or odd. How do we figure out, like, well, is it both up or both down? Well, that's by looking at the leading coefficient, okay? If the leading coefficient is positive, then it will end in an up direction. So down here, since it's positive, it also ends going in an up direction. Now, because the degree of the polynomial is even, well, then I know that they most both, both, they most, they must both go in the same direction. So, an even degree with a leading coefficient that's positive, will, you'll have uh, two arrows up. And we saw that a second ago. Whenever it was x squared minus two, we have an even degree with a positive 1x squared, so the end behavior of this graph was up and up. Looking down at the odd, okay, so the positive told me that it ended going up, but because it's odd, I know that they have to go in opposite directions. So if we have a positive leading coefficient, then it will go down, then up, which we saw with x cubed plus 1. Okay? Um, this is a, an odd degree, but a positive x, right? A positive x cubed. And this graph looks like this. Okay, if I have a negative leading coefficient, and this is true for both even and odd, if it's negative, the last tail will end going down. Okay. But if it's even, then they most both bo they must both go in the same direction. So this would be down down. And for an odd, if it ends down, then it starts up. Okay, and we saw that a few moments ago too with negative x squared plus 2. 
that graph went, its in behavior is down and down. With negative x cubed plus 1, we saw that it's on the left side it was going up, but it ended going down. All right, so let's do a few examples together where we describe the end behavior of the polynomials. All right, so the very first one, y equals 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So the first thing I look at is the leading coefficient, 3. Is that positive or negative? Positive. It's positive. So I know that the graph will end on the right going up. Then I look at the degree of the polynomial. The degree is 3. That's odd. Down. So they have to go in opposite directions. Down. Down. That's the end behavior of 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1. All right, in the second example, negative 4x to the fifth plus 3. My leading coefficient is negative, so I know it ends going down. And since it's an odd degree, 5, then they go in opposite directions. It started going up. This might be the easiest thing y equals x minus 2. So that's a positive x, so I know it's going to end going up. Now what's the degree of the polynomial? One. One. One, because it's x to the first power, so it must start by going down. It must start from a down direction and come up. x squared minus 8. Okay, so that's a positive x squared. I know it ends up. And since the power is 2, and that's oh. even, then they both end in the same direction. Okay, and then we have this last example. Um, what's the leading coefficient here? Okay, so the leading coefficient here is negative 1. Right, because the degree of the polynomial is the biggest exponent. Oh, it doesn't mean like the actual leading one. So this one is not written in standard form. If it was written in standard form, this negative x to the ninth would have been in the front. So I know it ends going down. And since it's to the ninth, since it's to the ninth, it started from the, uh, from the up direction. And uh, that's in behavior.